Hey guys, Kevin here. A lot of you have asked for Christmas recipes. So today I'm going to make panna cotta. Panna cotta is a classic Italian dessert that's perfect for Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, or really any day. It's naturally gluten-free, it's beyond delicious, and it's really, really easy to make. Now, the first ingredient we need is a quart of heavy cream. And we're going to pour the cream into a saucepan. You're probably clutching your pearls right about now. And then add one half cup of regular granulated sugar. And give this a little stir. And then Put on the heat, oops, wrong burner, sorry about that. And we're going to put this on, oh, medium low heat. And just stirring from time to time, bring the cream and the sugar just to a bare simmer. And I'll come back when I've reached that stage. Alrighty then, the cream mixture has just come to the simmer. And I can tell that the granulated sugar has dissolved just by stirring the mix. And so we're going to cut off the heat and add exactly two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. One, two. I'm so old that I do not have to use measuring spoons. And we're going to let this cool for a moment while we move on to our gelatin mixture. Gelatin is the thickener for panna cotta. Pour six tablespoons, that's just slightly more than one third of a cup of plain water into a large bowl. And then add two packets of unflavored gelatin. And don't stir it in, just sprinkle the gelatin over the top of the water. And we're going to let the gelatin sit for about five minutes or just until it softens. So I'll come back. My gelatin has softened suitably, so now we can add the warm cream mixture. Yum. In it goes. Then take a spatula and stir just to dissolve the uh, gelatin into the cream. Now, traditionally, panna cotta is poured into little gelatin molds or even custard cups like these and then chilled and then uh, unmolded and i'm going to put some of my panna cotta in the little custard cup molds and then i'm going to do a couple of panna cottas in these stemless wine glasses which will not be unmolded, so I don't have to spray them. And this recipe makes enough for six servings. So pour the panna cotta just, just below the rim of each custard cup, like this. Oh, this smells so good already. And then, uh, let me see if I can get this in view for you. And then for the stemless wine glasses, pour about halfway, like so. And then this goes into the refrigerator for four hours or longer, uh, just until the uh, panna cotta firms up. And you can make this dessert. Well, let me move the camera up so I can talk with you. 
After four hours in the refrigerator, if you're not going to unmold or serve the panna cotta right away, just cover everything with plastic wrap and let it stay in the fridge for up to two days. So this is a great dessert that you can make ahead of time. Okay, it's four hours later and my panna cotta is ready to rock and roll. Let me show you how to unmold the panna cotta. First run a knife all around the edge and then grab a dessert bowl or a small plate, put it on top, invert the two, shake, say a Hail Mary, et voila! Unmolded. But it looks a little naked. Let me show you how to fix that. Now you could put some chocolate shavings on the panna cotta. You could even drizzle some honey over the top. But I have some berries that were previously frozen and I just thawed them out in the microwave for a couple of minutes. So we can take some of the berry juice and drizzle it right over the top and then spoon some of the berries into the middle of the panna cotta. Then, if you have some mint laying around, and I happen to have some that I picked up from the farmer's market this morning, but it doesn't look all that great. Let me see if I can just find an attractive little sprig. Well, this will have to do. Here it is. And set this. inside for a finishing flourish. And as for the panna cotta that I put in the stemless wine glass, I'm going to use some previously frozen strawberries. And here again, I can just pour some of the juice right on top, just let it float there. And then spoon three strawberries into the center and oh this mint looks really sad check this out well it is november 29th so i guess we can't expect our mint to look its very best at this time of the year and we'll just insert that right here taste test Oh, this is so creamy and the texture is silky smooth. I adore panna cotta. One more little bite. Well, panna cotta is so delicious. I could probably eat it every day for the rest of my life. And it's really easy to make. So I hope you'll run right out and make a batch for yourself. Again, it's great for dinner parties. It's a super dessert to serve for Christmas, other holidays, really any time. And I'm going to finish eating. Well, I'm going to finish this one and I will probably finish this one with the strawberries as well. And I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel for future recipes. There's a little subscribe button over here somewhere. And I will see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.